Hello and welcome to the GCC Nova video tutorial on data importing and data enrichment in Microsoft CRM 2011. Okay, so we're going to start off here in my open opportunities in CRM <coughs> and we're going to come up to import data from the ribbon toolbar here. And one of the new features here is the ability to download a template for the area that you're in to be able to then create the data in Excel with some extra information about the fields from CRM. So we're going to go ahead and download the template for import there. I'm going to save that down to a download folder there. Open up Excel and open up our file. Right, now what's happened when our file comes in here, if I just maximize up the folders here, you see we've got information on what each folder is about from CRM. So we have drop downs here, LinkedIn, estimated value here, and this is applies to all of the areas of CRM. So we can go ahead then and start to put in some information. Potential customer revenue will take it as user provided estimated value, let's put say 50,000 in, estimated close date at the end of July, the currency for now and with about a 60% chance of getting this one and the rating is a warm. So that'll be enough to get this data back in, you're getting the idea here that when there's drop down fields it's giving you what the drop down is, so it just makes the data validation much more easier from the template creation viewpoint. So if we go ahead and close down Excel, we just overwrite the XML file here. We come back in to import our data, come in to import the data there, go away and find our file. So we've got our file ready there. Select next. It already knows the area that it's importing for, so it's gone through, it's mapped over because there's no mapping required because we exported out the template and the template was already there. Select next. You can select whether they allow duplicates, yes or no, or select an owner. I didn't include an owner field in my import template, uh, so I'm just going to get them all owned by the admin record here. But uh, unlike CRM4, if you did have a file with multiple owners in, then that would also import in. It just doesn't go to just the one owner. So we'll submit that through. Let's select finish. That then moves on into the uh, imports file. So if we come into workplace, we can see the progress of our imports here. So we've got our uh, import there, our opportunity import, which is submitted. We can just come over to refresh on the right hand side here. Just refresh this through until we come through and parse the data out and then have the data importing in. So it's just going through the parsing process at the moment. Still parsing, it's transforming the data now. And we are now completed with our one success there. So if we come to our sales and opportunities, we now have our opportunity in. So it's linked to our potential customer, we have our dates and value there. So a very easy way of getting the data pre-prepared before you import it into CRM. Now another advantage of using Microsoft CRM 2011 in terms of data imports is data enrichment. So we can actually export data that's in CRM, change the data and then re-import it back in. So if we go ahead and export this opportunity out, so if we export to Excel, and you notice we have an additional option down here to make this data available for re-importing by including the required column heading. So we'll make it available for re-importing. So we'll export out again. Click Save. So that's now for re-import my open opportunities. Click Save again. Go through there. So we just need to go and open up Excel. Excel open. Come through and open up my re-import, so here's our data now. So everything's come back out here. So <coughs> I'm just going to change my value to 75,000. It's now gone up to 90%, and it's now a 
hot rating. So we just go ahead and close down our next cell here. Select save and back and re-import this data. So if we import the data again, we're now importing in the re-import file. Click next. Process that through again, whether we can allow duplicates or not, or who the owner is. Click finish. So that's then processed through to the imports area. So if we come back to workplace again, and onto imports and for re-imports, so we just wait a moment for that to go through. So for ones that have already completed or in the process of completing, you can always open those up, especially if you have errors. You can come off the left-hand menu here and see which ones were fully imported, which ones failed to import, which ones partially imported. And obviously if you have massive failures, you can just come through here, get the ones that did successfully import, clear them out, delete them out, and then go ahead and re-import the whole file in again. Obviously it depends on the percentage success rate of what comes in and what doesn't come in. Okay, so if we just refresh this list, we're just on pausing. We're now completed successfully back in. So if we come back to sales and opportunities, and you see we're now up to 75%, 75,000, sorry, 90% probability with a rating of hot. So that is exporting out a data template for ease of import and also exporting out data and then changing the data outside of CRM and then importing the data back in.